Was Google cool? It was pretty cool. Was Amazon cool too? <laughs> Uh, I can't really say. Like, does anybody here work at Amazon? Statistically, somebody might. And I'm not trying to bash the company. I'm not even trying to speak for the whole company. I just spoke about my experience. And I didn't even talk. I didn't even go into the details. A few people do. So what do you guys think about Amazon? I mean, are you guys enjoying it? I mean, 100%. It's a good place to learn. I was not. Oh, you work at Amazon Packaging. That's good. I mean, that's a, you got to start somewhere. No, oh, it's brutal. I mean, the, the thing I kind of liked, though, is like, the tech stack is more fun, at least for the little time that I was there. Like people were doing like AWS Lambda functions on my team to like build a service. We were using React and other things. And I would much rather do that than use like super proprietary tech used at Google. Yeah, the on-call is rough. Like even my team's on-call was so rough. The guy was like, first of all, they wanted us to be on call like within two months of joining, like two or three months. And the guy was doing his on call, like the on call training, like just telling us, yeah, this is what we do for on call. One of the new grads, not me, but one of the other new grads on my team asked like, oh, what do you do in that situation? What do you do in this situation? What if you get something that's not already in the playbook? And the guy was just like, yeah, you just don't know what you just can't figure it out. Like you won't be able to do anything. They were not helpful in training people for on call. They basically just said it's a free for all. I had a guy on my team. Somebody <laughs> asked him a question. Somebody from a different team asked somebody on my team a question like, hey, I'm having an issue with this. And the guy on my team like got mad and, and it was like it's there, like it's written. He didn't do it in a meeting. He like wrote it out on like a certain ticket or something. And yeah, that's just how that's how it is. It's kind of the complete opposite of Google culture. Amazon is. It, and there's some good aspects of a, about it. Yeah, on call is good for ramping up. Yeah, I think that is probably the case. I don't know if that would be the case on my team. Like there was just so many undocumented things, so much like tribal knowledge. And at the same time, you can't ask people questions. I don't know how you're supposed to get out of that situation. I was working at Google different than Amazon in terms of software engineering. I think I think there are opposite engineering cultures like Amazon. The culture engineering culture is completely the opposite. Like at Amazon, they kind of prioritize speed and will sacrifice quality. And also at Amazon, you'd be surprised. A lot of things are not automated at Amazon. They rely a lot on manual ops, meaning like people on call or just people on the team are going to be manually doing certain things. And for that reason, it can kind of be painful sometimes, I think, to be an engineer at Amazon. At Google, it's kind of the opposite. They try to automate as much as possible. But not only that, they're willing to go slower. The last thing that they want to do at Google is launch a feature that causes a bug or causes a problem because Google has a lot to lose. But you know, your feature, no matter how proud you are of your feature, your feature is probably not going to change Google's business. It might help increase revenue a little bit, but like if it goes wrong, it will cost Google a lot of money. So they really don't want to screw things up. They do not want to mess things up and they go very slow. There's a lot of design docs. There's a lot of testing and there's just there's not a lot of documentation, though. For that, you just have to read the source code. But yeah, it's pretty collaborative. You can usually talk to people who've written services like, oh, I don't know how this works. Just like have a meeting with the person who wrote it and hopefully they can help you out. What was your Amazon offer? I would literally show you the offer letter right now, but I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to show you that. But the offer was like standard at that time. Like they don't negotiate for new grads generally. I think it was like 140K a year, roughly, if you total up the base salary, the stocks and the sign on bonus. How much did I make at Google? Pretty similar as in like I got paid like the bottom of the band, I think at Google. I think it was higher though. Like total, I was probably making like 160K a year totaling up like salary stocks and signing bonus. I don't even think I got a signing bonus from Google. Are you going to try other companies? At some point, I honestly might. For whatever reason, Google is considered like the most prestigious, even on YouTube. Like you can say, hey, I'm an ex Amazon engineer, but that doesn't have the same ring as saying like, hey, I'm ex Google, like, whoa, Google, like, like the brand name is very powerful. And of course, if they have that brand name power, they're going to use it to their advantage. If they know somebody wants to work at Google more than they want to work at like Amazon, then Google is going to say, well, 
I don't have to pay them as much because if I pay them 10,000 less, they're still gonna rather work for Google than work for Amazon. So they're gonna use that to their advantage. And that's why you shouldn't get too like starstruck about the brand name.